In this video, we're gonna look at three types of chart, which one I use. This is matching the chart type to your personality type. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Welcome back to the channel. If you are a subscriber, if you're new here, hi. Okay, so we have three different types of chart. And I was thinking about this, and you know we often talk about personality fitting a trading strategy and style to your personality so how about if we segment it down into three distinct chart patterns and i think this is actually pretty spot on so you have three broadly speaking i know we can kind of have multiple different chart and uh, different kind of market environments and market conditions and chart types but Splitting them into these three really covers the main one. The first one we've got is trending. Second one is kind of counter trend trade, and I'll show the chart, chart type of that in a second. And three is breakout. And I'll explain in a moment why I've split these up into these different categories. So if you can imagine, this is number one, right? We've got number one here, uh, usual chart. We've got a chugging, trending chart, pushing up. And to be a good trend trader, you have to see this moving up, see it pull back, and be very, very comfortable with being able to pull the trigger here, or being very, very comfortable being able to pull the trigger here, wherever it may be. Now, of course, in hindsight, that looks like you would be very, very comfortable, but in reality, if we got rid of this and just showed you this, and this happened to be maybe a, a lower time frame, maybe it's a four hour chart, and maybe, you know, in the scheme of things, it's not that much, but it still looks quite a lot, you still gotta be comfortable doing that. And I know some people aren't that comfortable doing that. I know for me, I'm not that comfortable doing that. However, I know that the odds are on my side and as long as I quantify the risk, I've kind of framed my mind to say, hey, listen, where's the risk on it? If you're happy to do it and you're happy with the risk, then pull the trigger. I prefer more explosive type markets, but this is like the chugging trend type day. And if you're not comfortable with pulling the trigger at highs, not much of a pullback generally as well. You know, the best trends, the best chugging trends, especially in a bull market are very, very, not that steep. You know, they don't have many pullbacks and you've got to be able to just pull that trigger when, when really there's not much of a pullback or when you've got a slight little couple of candles against you. And if you're comfortable with that, great. That's the one you should be looking at. You should be looking at trending market conditions. So what you do, you filter out all the stocks, all the assets, all the markets that exhibit that characteristic and then focus on being able to do that. So if that's your thing, then that's cool. Right, the next one we've got is counter trend. This is one of the ones that I quite like to trade. Uh, and this fits is quite broad, but what do I mean by this? We basically mean, hey, listen, we've got markets moving up. They're kind of a bit more volatile, bit less grindy like this. Counter trend, don't, we don't mean in the prior example where you've got a grinding trend just trying to pick the top because that is ultimately a losing proposition. Uh, over time, you might get one or two, but you need some kind of catalyst for that, we're talking more about a bit more volatility, a bit more range in between moves, a bit more action. This would be a counter trend trade. You know, plugging a short trade there. So using some sort of setup, some sort of strategy, and being able to be comfortable hitting the short against the move, against the trending move, assuming that you know we've got a moving average there. It's a trend, maybe it's debatable if it's a tight trend or not, but the point is you're going against the grain. It's pushing up. You've got to be comfortable going short there. Some people are very uncomfortable at doing that. Some people do not like to stand in front of that because they don't believe it will turn. Now for me, this is my sweet spot. I like to get involved in stuff that's quite volatile, quite active, has got quite a big move, and I look for those turning points and look for those signals. I'm not gonna go into kind of intricate setups and strategies here, but some kind of evidence that that might be the top or might be the bottom, and I can fade that and look to play for a reversion to the mean, that could be a mean reversion as well, same kind of thing, or a full reversal, or whatever it might, might be. Um, so, if you're not comfortable with that, you need to avoid all these kind of chart patterns. You need to just stay with the trend or you need to stay with the breakout type trades. We're gonna look at breakout in a second. This is a different personality type. This is someone who says, hey, listen, I'm a contrarian here. I don't believe that the crowd is right. I've got various evidence. By the way, we're not just talking about hunches here. We're saying, okay, we're producing actual logical evidence that that's correct. 
and then we're bolting a setup into it, but we feel comfortable inside us going against the tide for now because we think we've got an edge in spotting when that crowd is wrong, as opposed to a trend trader who says, listen, I feel comfortable following the crowd now because the crowd could ride this thing for the next three, four days. So this is where you've kind of got to align your feelings and thoughts with exactly you know, the type of trader you are and, and take some time to think about this. And we've, we've covered this a few times in different videos, but it's really important to get a, get a grip of this. Another one is, is a breakout trader. So you've got a scenario here, uh, it's coming up and you're comfortable buying a breakout. Now this is slightly different obviously to the trend because the trend is very, very chuggy and methodical and you don't really get much of a signal. You kind of have to you know, just step into it and, and, and chase it almost and be comfortable that the trend is still going to be there. Uh, the counter trend is obviously waiting for that extreme move where that's exhaustion, where that's, a, you know, whatever it may be, some sort of reversal signal and you're happy to pull the trigger on that. And I talk a lot about kind of bullish engulfing, bearish engulfing, candlestick patterns that might denote a reversal. So that's my kind of thing. But then a breakout is somebody who, hey, you know what, there, there, there's a range, you know, this is maybe an extreme extreme example of it, and we've, you know, but you get the point, I think the most, most of us know what a breakout is here. You're happy to pull the trigger because you're getting instant feedback on that breakout. You're happy to just say, hey, the trend is up, and generally speaking, you know, a breakout is gonna be in the direction of the move. Yeah, sure, you can take a breakout to the downside, but that's probably gonna be more in your counter trend situation, and counter trend breakouts are, you know, a bit of a tricky one if I'm honest. You're better off taking a breakout, generally speaking, generally speaking, in the direction of the flow. So you've got kind of the, the, the supply demand shifting in one direction, then you get a pause, then you're happy to pull the trigger. So you're not quite happy to pull the trigger at any point in trending market. This is a little bit more volatile, a little bit more action going on, a few key levels put in, but you're more comfortable in waiting for confirmation and pulling the trigger. Now I've done videos before on breakouts where I think on a personal perspective that many breakouts are a losing strategy. You have to have a lot of parameters and filters in place to filter out the best breakouts because a lot of breakouts fake out, they test, they probe, they don't do this. But assuming you've got this nail, you've got that nailed down, you've got your kind of criteria set, do you like this because of the instant feedback? A lot of traders like the fact that, hey, if I'm in and it runs, I'm right. If it runs, pulls back, I'm out, I'm wrong, I move to the next one. Now, sometimes you can get caught out constantly trying to take it, getting stopped out, take it, stopped out, and it can be frustrating. And that's often why people don't want to trade a breakout. They also don't want to get involved in the breakout. For me, depending on the criteria, like I say, some breakouts, I'm all over them, especially on the short side. I quite enjoy the short side breakouts when there's a lot of supply coming in, you can see it, you've got evidence for it and you're hammering shorts into those lows. But perhaps on the long side, if it wasn't quite as great, I'd prefer to be the guy buying this low here or this fake out and selling some off into that breakout, selling some off into that momentum, just because that's the personality that I am. And I believe that I'm more profitable trader doing that. Other guys will wait for the perfect setup and go all in the breakout. They'll you know get one out of 10 right, but when they get a, a beast, they'll hold it for months and months and more will make up for it. So these are kind of three broad chart types of chart. You've got to find out where you fit in with, with them. Now, not to say you can't trade all of them, but if you find out which one you're, the, you're a specialist at and which one you prefer, then maybe you can focus your energy and resources into that and to become an absolute expert in one specific chart type, one specific market environment. And then you can just build on that, build on that, build on that, add to your strategy playbook until you get really, really good at one. All right, guys, food for thought. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet already. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.